For many of us, the last couple of months have seen significant change and a need to quickly adapt to new ways of living and working. Whilst these changes have no doubt caused some stress in one way or another, for many of us this has been an opportunity to slow down, spend time with family, learn new things, practice self-care, among many other things. So naturally, the return back to the workplace, however that looks for you, will present a new set of challenges and adjustments. The next few tips are aimed to help you and support your transition back to the workplace, whether that be returning from furlough, other forms of absence like maternity or sickness, going back to the office or working entirely online for the foreseeable future. Do you feel ready to return to work? If not, what is holding you back and how can we address this? Preparation may help you to adjust, especially if returning from furlough or going back to an office environment. Think about if there is anything you need to know, such as updates on the guidelines and social distancing policies at your workplace. There might be new rules in place, there might be new equipment to make the work environment safer, and also there might be requirements for the use of personal protective equipment. Make sure you understand these changes in advance so that they don't come as a shock on your first day back. Try to mentally go through your first day at work and think about anything that is unclear to you or where you may need support or adaptations. There may be changes to your responsibilities or to how you will commute to work. If you are feeling stressed about the uncertainty, you may find it helpful writing out a schedule or plan for your first week back so that you feel more in control. How can your employer support you? What resources or reasonable adjustments can be made to ensure returning to work is as easy as possible for you? Make sure to outline all of your concerns. We are creatures of habit and routine helps us to maintain a good work-life balance and a healthy circadian rhythm. Routines help us to maintain a sense of control over our life and also make it easier to schedule time for activities that enable us to switch off. You may want to reach out to your colleagues before you return back to work, check in with them and talk about anything you like. Sharing feelings about your recent months and your well-being may help you to find common ground and may also increase your resilience. You could arrange to meet colleagues for a coffee before work and then go into the office together. Being connected may help you to feel more comfortable going back to the office and meeting other colleagues again. Practice relaxation exercises such as deep breathing, meditation, do physical exercise, anything that helps to lift your mood but also contributes to your physical and mental well-being. We all have different speeds at which we adjust to change. For some it may take longer and for some it may not take that much time at all. Don't compare yourself to others and be kind to yourself by allowing yourself the time that you need.